All right, so we've got the roller bearings mounted and positioned on the edge of the rim. The nice thing about the roller bearings is they've got a lot of uh, leeway for any little misalignments. Uh, so that's just mounted with a couple of screws and then mounted diagonally onto the uh, trommel so that it would be up and out of the way. I believe this is the end we're expecting to uh, toss everything into. Uh, not sure entirely which direction the uh, trommel is going to uh, turn. I should really uh, figure that out. Uh, part of it is I'm not sure which way the uh, motor is going to be turning. So we have to figure that out. Uh, I decided to leave the uh, big belt on and uh, see how that is. Uh, if that's a problem, because this is kind of offset now from the uh, center of the uh, trommel, center of the trommel somewhere over here. Uh, so, you know, a couple more inches over is where that should have been. Uh, if that's a problem, we'll replace that 55 inch belt with something shorter so that we can bring the uh, uh, shaft for the uh, speed reducer over uh, four to six inches and uh, go from there. But there's our uh, back roller bearing holding the back portion on. And up here we have the front roller bearing. Um, so we'll see how that uh, all goes. Uh, so a total of four screws to hold that in. Um, not tightened real tight. Uh, one of the things that uh, where everything lines up, so there is a little bit of a diagonal that gives the, the board a little bit of flex and press uh, against the rim to help hold it. 